Oh, you should take a photo. Oh, no, oh, no. How I'm about to go, yo. Shorty drop a load to pick it up. She like a yo yo. And I'm getting so much action. You too. What is up? This is He Got Kicks. I'm snowed in right now, so I figured I don't have any shoes coming, so I figured that I would bring uh, something a little different to the channel. This time, I'm going to be bringing to you the top five shoes in my collection that I regret buying, but I actually don't really regret buying the shoe. It's just at the point in time that I bought the shoe is when I regret buying it because I could have saved a little extra money buying it later on when they went on sale. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, the DMP 1314 pack, I actually bought it uh, on release day. I had a coupon code. I paid $4.50 for it, but I could have bought it for a lot cheaper when I went to SneakerCon Atlanta. Wish ATL actually had a 50% off sale on the whole pack. I could have got it for $2.50. So I really regret buying it because I could have got you know, even on StockX right now, it's a lot cheaper than the 500 retail. Even though I did get it a little bit below retail, I still wish and regret buying this when I bought this shoe. Number two, Cyber Monday 3s. I regret I bought these, I think it was maybe a week after release day. Now granted, I do get a discount on everything, so I do save money, but I could have saved a whole lot more money if I would have just waited instead of just jumping the gun and just buying it as soon as it came out. So again, Cyber Monday 3s is number two on the list. Uh, number three is the Fire Red 5 Low. I really could have saved a lot of money on this one because I had um, a $20 coupon. Then I also could have gotten an employee discount on top of that when they went on sale. So I really could have got a whole lot of money off of this one if I would have just waited instead of... I think this one I did wait a little while on. I think I got it maybe a month or two months after it came out and it didn't go on sale yet. So I just went ahead and bought it. But in the end, I could have saved over $100 on this shoe. So that's exactly why this shoe makes the list. Number four, I got to go with the winged twos I really wish I would have waited on this shoe but again I am glad I have this shoe but I could have saved again a whole lot of money on this shoe by waiting if I would not have just jumped the gun like I seem to always do because whenever you get a discount on shoes a lot of people don't realize or don't really get it it actually makes you spend more money because you feel like you're saving more money because you're getting the discount but in the long run, the way Jordan brand has been in the past few years, sometimes they're going to go on sale. So it's better to just wait, except for this year. This year, I think it's going to be a lot different. But I really wish I would have waited on this shoe. I could have saved a little bit more money than I did with my discount. Last but not least, the Chutney 13 Lows. I really wish I would have waited on this. I've seen a few in the outlets, and I could have gotten a military discount on that as well. So I could have saved more money because I think they were on sale for, I think when I seen them, it was $120. And I actually got these for like $133 whenever with my discount. So with the $120, then I couldn't got a military discount on top of it. I could have saved, you know, another $15, $20, $30 bucks on it, depending on, you know, what Nike's military discount is. So really, I wish that I would have waited on this. And this shoe I actually ordered on release day from my store that I was working at at the time. So again, I jumped the gun on this one and it really kind of bit me in the butt because I've spent a lot of money on sneakers as y'all have seen. So I mean, every, every dollar counts. But you know, again, I'm glad that I have this shoe in my collection. Uh, and also... As I end this video, I do want to give a shout out to my guy, The Vintage World. Me and him, we're going to figure something out here coming soon. Me and him are going to start doing some lives on Instagram. So I'm going to put his YouTube and his Instagram in the description box below. So be sure to subscribe to him on his uh, chase to 20,000 subscribers. He just hit 10. So, and then also we're going to try and get his Instagram popping a little bit too. So just everybody, I'm going to put it in the description box below. 
make sure to subscribe to him and give him a follow. He will be doing a giveaway. The Black Cement 3 is coming out next month with Unbreakable Kick, so be sure to enter in that as well. So I will see y'all next time. Hopefully next time I have a shoe for y'all so I can review it and unbox it and, you know, all that good stuff that we're used to with my channel. So I will see y'all next time. Motherfucker, you should take a photo. I oh, don't know, I oh, don't know how I'm about to go, yo. Shorty, drop a load and pick it up. She like a yo yo when I'm getting so much action.